to the southern snack where life is too short to be serious and while it may be too short to be serious i'm a bit frazzled this morning you would have thought i made plenty of time to just do what i gotta do but i don't think i did anyways we are at kroger right now yeah yeah i'm not even at krispy kreme i'm at kroger because krispy kreme took my order i wanted the barber dozen and they gave me the barber dozen all right without berries and cream which, why would you call it berries and cream when it's just strawberry and cream? Don't even call it berries and cream. That's disrespectful. So I had to pivot. I had to go get the six count, which doesn't even have the Barbie's Malibu Dream House cake batter filled. Doesn't even have that. But hey, I, it's okay because that's not the donut we were missing, right? It was the berries and cream. So I had to pivot. This, this dozen is nowhere close to reflective of what you're going to get if you order the Barbie dozen. The Barbie dozen, the majority of donuts in there, four glazed donuts it's a sham these donuts are a sham and you know what there's not even like a special flavor we've never had before so they're just grabbing money at this point for 65th birthday of barbie which i don't even think why 65th so important what like what what 70 i get 75 i get 80 85 65 i i've never I, never celebrated someone's 65th birthday maybe their anniversary but what is going on um we could really sit here and talk about anything else because really there's nothing to talk about with these donuts really not um so anyways we'll pose for the thumbnail but you get four glazed you get two pink two birthday party two berries and cream and two malibu dream house so take a mental note Get prepared for that um, because this is not what you're going to get. You could try and customize it to get that, but I, I'm just, I'm letting you know. Friend to friend, macho el macho. That's just not what you're going to get. All right, so I think I'll use this as a placeholder. This is the, the box that you they're selling at retailers. All right, this is cake batter, uh, Malibu Dream House. So we'll reposition this. One more look. You want one more look? There you go. Beachy vibes. Not not bitchy vibes, but beachy vibes. I don't know what if this is like fondant. I think so. so. They don't ever know what to do. They don't. They can't decide. Do they want to do? And it's topped with graham cracker on the bottom. Do they want to do fondant or do they want to do a solid white chocolate? Um, at, at least it's no longer what it once was. What it once was was chaos. It's like this hard to eat thing. But anyway, I think fondant was what it once was. So I don't know why they brought fondant back. But anyways, let's try cake batter, I guess. It's a good, rich, creamy donut with a burst of cake batter flavor. Is it going to be for everyone? No, because not everyone has this type of sweet tooth. But, you know, it's it's good. It's solid. Gets an 8 out of 10 in my book. Um, so where do we go next? I guess we'll uh, do berries and cream. Stop crying about it and try it. Just, just, I don't know why they didn't just call it strawberries and cream, right? And I think we got another. Now, this is what's not making sense. So this is not fondant. You got fondant on one. You got white chocolate on the other. Make it make sense, right? Okay. The only difference these donuts tend to have is the ones from the retailers tend to be iced a little bit better can't explain it maybe maybe robots maybe ai i don't know but let's take a bite very strong artificial strawberry flavor creamy but of course not like as bold and sweet as cake batter it's solid it's enjoyable if this is your type of jam if, if strawberry cream is your thing i think you'll like it personally i'd give it like a seven out of ten you can't go wrong with it but it's not going to stand out all right i'm not going to cut into these next two 
I'm just gonna take a bite out. So this is a very pretty donut, but it's not like the Dr. Pepper. There's no special flavor. Uh, this is Barbie's Pink Donut. It's just buttercream. So let's take a bite. Mm-hmm. But it's good in its simplicity. Um, but not as good as usual. Usually I find that it's a bit sweeter, a little bit more rich. It's kind of laid back. Personally, I like the other two. I just had more. I'd give this like a six. It's usually just better, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're going to end it off with Barbie's, uh, something with Barbie, some chocolate donut with Barbie. All right. She's got birthday party donut. I wouldn't want my birthday party to be brown, but oh well. Let's have a brown party. Let's, let's decorate everything brown. I like chocolate cake. I, I will say that's permissible at my party in terms of decorations that are brown, but I wouldn't want brown streamers. Give me some purple. Give me color. Don't give me basic colors like brown, white. Black's okay if we're in our 50s, right? But brown and white. Mm -mm, no. Yellow, kind of weird too. All right, let's take a bite. Again, you can't go wrong with a classic chocolate ice donut from Krispy Kreme. Is it the most amazing chocolate item you ever have? No, but it's really solid and it really works well. Eight and a half, no question. Eight and a half. I've had some, like, they've had some really dynamic chocolate flavors in the past that just are better than that. But, like, again, for me, you know, I think a, a eight and a half, definitely the best flavor to me definitely the most rich so that's really all i've got to say hopefully this video gave you some information that you wanted to know maybe it didn't but that is your barbie dozen and i would not really recommend getting it unless you really want to have a barbie party barbie barbie happy birthday barbie all right bye